Okay, so then you have general chat. Um, looks active, however, you know, your site is about forum promotion and really improving websites. Um, the fact that you have off-topic madness with forum games, tech and media with gaming, and sports and outdoor activities really just doesn't fit your forum. Um, it seems like maybe you like sports and outdoor activities. I know in the past you've owned a forum about camping, I believe. Um, I'm just wondering if this is the best thing for your website, um, or at least this one, and for your members, or if maybe you're just taking a personal, personal interest in it. I would suggest really merging these into just an off-topic section, just throwing it down here somewhere, or maybe, I don't know, somewhere. Form games, um, I've never, I mean, I add them occasionally. Um, however, I mean, I don't really understand the point to them. Um, most likely people are just counting or adding three words or stating reasons why they'd ban the member above them. Seems rather pointless, um, distracts members from what your site's about, which is exchanges, discussions about being an administrator or webmaster, your services, and of course, improving your own website. Um, this is just a distraction, takes away the focus. Technology, media, and entertainment, actually I could see as being a section still. Um, that's something I would move to your webmaster discussion and maybe just generalizing it, making it an other section or general webmaster discussion. So if something can't fit into these, then I can go into the tech, media, and entertainment. And I think it's perfectly fitting because as technology improves and the type of technology that consumers like, this is becoming something that's way involved, media and entertainment. I mean, Twitter, you have Twitter up here somewhere. Um, well, it's in one of your sections. You mentioned Twitter um, right here, actually, yeah. So obviously media is a big thing. Entertainment, a lot of sites are integrating entertainment. Look at YouTube, for example. And technology, I mean, that really is what your site is based on. So that's perfect. So that's it for the organization. Um, something I noticed with text advertisements, click here to request this service. If you click it, it takes you to this. But people might click that because they're like, okay, I'd want to request this service, but I'm not really sure how it works. So they click it, get taken to here, and they're like, okay, what what the heck is all this? Added, 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 what's all that? What they really want to look at, the guidelines. And I would even suggest changing this to text ad guidelines and information. And if you change this from text advertising to something else, like I suggested before, you'd obviously update this. But I think this thread here, is what this link should go to. Not the section, but straight to your guidelines and informational thread. Also, you can see how the added kind of gets in the way. Um, I mean, perhaps, see, so it ends on the 7th of October, okay. So it does seem like they still are active. For, for a little bit, I was thinking that these were added and then even if they are expired, they're still sitting here. That is the case, though. I mean, I would just suggest adding, you know, an old or archive area um, and hiding it, of course, like I just suggested before, um, but at least just putting them there and getting them out of the way. Okay, so oh, it looks like there's a new top poster. It's good. I like that. Um, your activity is really good. I'm really impressed. Every time I come back, I see usually an extra 1,000 or 2,000 posts from my last visit. Um, and I visit a lot, so that's a testament to your activity. Right, okay, promotion and SEO, I'm just gonna come back to here. A lot of people are using promotion boards or forums because they don't know much about websites so they don't know how to advertise. A lot of them are going to be unfamiliar with what SEO means. For example, if my mom was on here and she saw promotion and SEO, she would ask me, what is SEO? She could look it up, but that just adds an extra step. I would suggest putting the definition of SEO in your description um, so people know, or maybe just adding a new thread and saying what SEO is so people can just find out straight off the bat without having to do a lot of research of their own. Promote your site, uh, threads and posts. Looks like there's a lot of stuff in here. You can see five pages of things. Um, you might want to copy a uh, forum promotions idea, uh, basically adding directories, um, giving different sections in promote your site for different genres of forums or websites. Um, it's something that 
I mean, I think it would just make your site more organized, easier to go through, and it would really um, improve the chances of people's websites being noticed. Also, you have promote your site and then promote your website. I would say to stick to one, either use website or site. Um, it would just make it more, almost like it would give like a certain flow to the way content is presented on your forum. Um, with the look and stuff, I, I personally hate um, having three words as a section name, like managing your forum instead of forum management, because it makes me choose if I want to have every word starting in caps lock or just the first one. I, I don't really like it when there's three different words um, that are all have an uppercase first letter in them. So I would change this to forum management. This is fine because and is um, commonly all, all lowercase, but for this, I don't know. I, I would change that up though. Just make it look better. Okay, now features. Um, it's a little hard for me to talk about because I have mentioned them to you earlier today on Facebook or in a text message or whatever. <laughs> However, um, what I had spoken about was basically adding another top top banner kind of thing, but basically for the site that gives you the most referrals or sends the most traffic from their website to yours. Um, so if this Pokemon website had a link on the top of their site, and 10 people clicked it and came to your site for an hour, but then 50 people in Geek's Hut did the same, then Geek's Hut would be displayed because they sent the most traffic for that hour or that day. I would personally use hour just because your name is forum hour. That's something I would definitely do. I would add a history of previous winners. So every time a top poster of the last hour was chosen, there would also be a history. Um, so maybe that's just like a little link underneath it or something or something that says past winners. Um, so that way winners always have a backlink there and people can see who's won in the past, see who they're competing against or simply just for curiosity or out of curiosity. So those are some features I would add. Um, overall, I think forum hours looking great. I think the biggest thing that needs to be improved is the design. However, as far as content goes, besides section names and that the content actually being produced, like, you know, stuff like or down this area here, just looking great. Um, there's always new stuff to read or contribute to, and that's something I love to see on a forum, and that's really something I look for when I'm deciding where I want to, um, like where I want to hang out on the internet, <laughs> like have a an online home almost. All right, so that is your full review. Um, hopefully this has helped, um, and if you'd like to request again or like anything re-reviewed or additional stuff reviewed, I'd be happy to do that free of charge and yeah, just to help you improve your website forumhour.com and really help out your members that are on the site. Alright, thank you very much and that's me Ghost signing out.